The Journey Through Palestine's History Once upon a time, in a cozy little village in Palestine, there lived a curious boy named Ahmed. Ahmed loved to listen to stories about his homeland, especially those told by his wise grandfather, Abu Tariq. One evening, as the sun began to set, Ahmed sat by his grandfather and asked, Grandfather, can you tell me about the history of Palestine? Abu Tariq smiled warmly and began his story. Palestine, my dear Ahmed, is a land of rich history and culture. It is a place where many important events have taken place over thousands of years. Let's take a journey through time together. Long, long ago, Abu Tariq began, there was a great civilization called the Canaanites. They were among the first people to live in this land. They built cities and temples and made beautiful pottery. They were skilled farmers and traders, and they called this land Canaan. Ahmed's eyes widened with excitement. What happened next, grandfather? he asked. Well, Abu Tariq continued, many other peoples and civilizations came to this land. One of them were the ancient Israelites. They built a great temple in the holy city of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is very special because it is sacred to many people. After the Israelites, Abu Tariq went on, there were the Romans. They ruled Palestine for many years and built many grand structures like roads and amphitheaters. But the most important event during their time was the birth of the great prophet Isa alayhi salam, who brought a message of peace and love. Ahmed nodded, remembering the stories he had heard about prophet Isa alayhi salam. What happened after the Romans? he asked. After the Romans, Abu Tariq explained, came the Byzantine Empire and then a very significant event happened. The year was 638 CE and the Muslims, led by Caliph Umar ibn al-Khattab, radiallahu anhu, entered Jerusalem. They treated everyone with kindness and respect and they built the beautiful Al-Aqsa Mosque, which still stands today. This was the beginning of a long and prosperous period for Palestine under Islamic rule. Did anything else important happen, grandfather? Ahmed inquired. Yes, indeed, Abu Tariq replied. Many centuries later, the crusaders came from Europe trying to take control of Jerusalem. There were many battles, but the great Muslim leader Salahuddin al-Ayyubi, known as Saladin, recaptured Jerusalem and allowed people of all faiths to live together in peace. In more recent history, Abu Tariq continued with a gentle tone, Palestine faced many challenges. The people of this land have always loved their home and have worked hard to preserve their culture and heritage. Today, Palestinians continue to strive for peace and justice, keeping their traditions alive and dreaming of a better future. Ahmed listened intently, feeling proud of his heritage. Thank you, grandfather. I will always remember the stories of our land and share them with others. Abu Tariq smiled and patted Ahmed on the head. Always remember, my dear Ahmed, that our history is filled with lessons of courage, faith, and resilience. It is up to you and your generation to carry forward the spirit of our ancestors and work towards a peaceful and just world. And so Ahmed grew up with a deep love and understanding of his homeland, sharing the stories of Palestine's rich history with everyone he met, keeping the legacy of his ancestors alive. In unwavering solidarity with Palestine, we shall persist in our efforts to raise awareness, amplify their voices, and fervently supplicate with firm belief in the Day of Judgment when Allah's justice will swiftly prevail against all oppressors. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rectify the affairs of the Palestinians. May He shower them with His mercy, pour upon them patience, make them steadfast and grant them victory over their oppressors. May He elevate their ranks and reunite them with their loved ones in the gardens of Jannah. Amin Allahumma Amin.